What's up people, Casting over here. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about branding. Now I see so much of the time, people are looking to build businesses, people are looking to build their influence, whatever they're trying to do, but they forget about the number one thing, and that's their brand. For me, I've been able to build a successful brand, but I've done it intentionally. What do I mean by that? I've just studied other people who are building a brand. A lot of the times we're making a lot of mistakes, whether it's social media, whether it's in public, because we're not understanding that everything is watching us. Everyone is watching us. In today's world of social media, in today's world of media as a whole, right? anything that you do can wreck your brand. It's almost like credit if you think about it, right? And the number one thing that I think about is the first impression. When you're trying to get somebody to want to be associated with your brand, whether that means a partnership, whether that means they're buying your product, whether that means that they're buying your service, you're asking them to trust in you. What are you putting out there? Because that's what you're manifesting back. And, and I think that people, they forget about this. They think about it as, oh, you know, I'm going to be me. But understand that it all comes with some type of consequences, right? And if your brand is strong enough to hold that one mistake that you might make in the future, because we all make mistakes, right? That's what you need to be focusing on. If you don't focus on, again, making your brand stronger, and I'm going to give you guys some tips on how uh, I would do this, but if you don't focus on making your brand stronger, you know, so you can withstand anybody who comes and tries to tear you down in the end after you've built a positive empire, right? Then you're going to struggle in the end. Because you're never going to get to where you're trying to go to. And I think so many people, they just forget about that. So when I think about my brand, I always think about, or anybody else's brand, I'm always thinking about the ABCs, right? The number one is your appearance, right? How do you look? When people first see you, what are you affiliating? It could be Nike. It could be Polo. People want to know that they're associating with status and they want to know that they're associating with class, Right? And, and whatever that status in that class is, for some people it could be luxury, for some other people it could be emo right? or punk rock, or for some other people it could be Fortnite, or for some people it could be ball is life if it's sports. Right? You got to understand that people are going to get with you if they believe in your message and you're creating the right type of culture. Everything has to be congruent. It has to flow together. So your appearance, what does that look like? Right? Is it a negative appearance? Is every time somebody seeing you, the way that you're dressed, the way that you focus on your mannerisms, right? Is every time they see you, your parents are uh, head down. Every time they see you, you're upbeat. You got a lot of energy. You're ready to own the day. You're ready to win the day. You're ready to own the year. Is that what people are getting off from you? Right? Because our days, they're made up of energy. That's it. You know, you got that 46,800 time bank. I'm sure you might have heard of that, right? That's how many seconds that we have in a day. If you allow the small things to take away from your time bank, you're going to struggle on your day-to-day -day basis, and then you're going to take it out on other people. So you got to find a way to make sure that you have the appearance that you're always upbeat, that you're always positive because somebody else needs to see that. There were so many times where in the beginning I was I was going to work. I was going to work this nine to five job and I knew that I was hating my life, right? But when I walked into that door, I knew that people were still looking at me, whether it be management, whether it be my colleagues, whether it be, you know, the janitor. Whenever they see me and they say, hey, Casanova, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? How are you? Right? Because at the end of the day, we're all putting on showmanship. It's no different than if you're playing sports and people are coming out there to watch you, especially if you want to play professionally. Right? People want to see it. I tell my son all the time. Like when you go see Steph Curry, when you put all this money out here to see Steph Curry, you're traveling, you're getting these hotels. You want to think about when you get when he steps on that court, when you get in that arena, you want to see upbeat, you want to see live, you want to be in that moment. You want to live. And so you don't really care about the things. It's always the what's in it for me. Everybody has it in some form or aspect. What's in it for me? So when you buy your tickets to a Beyonce concert, a Jay-Z concert, a Miley Cyrus, wherever you're trying to go, right? You want that person to perform. You want them to give you what their money's worth, right? What your money's worth. It's the same thing as when you step on the stage, whether you're in your community, whether you're at your job, no matter if you're doing a presentation, people want their money's worth. They want to believe in you. They want to believe in your culture. But what does your appearance look like? Are you giving off that energy that says, hey, I'm going to take you to the promised land? Or are you giving off that energy that says, 
eh, you know, today might be a good day, but tomorrow if you catch me, it might not be so good of a day. So you probably want to uh, buy, you know, rock with me today. So that's the number one thing I'm always thinking about, right? The second thing that I'm always thinking about is behavior, right? What does your behavior look like, right? When you're talking to people, are you opening up doors, right? Are you saying thank you? Are you saying please? Are you saying, and you don't have to be, you know, kissing butt as they might say, right? But I'm saying just if it's natural to you, it won't feel like that. If you're every day, if you wake up and you say, listen, I'm going to do something positive today because I understand that there's volatility in the world. There's ups and there's downs. We all go through them, right? So today my behavior is going to be one that I know that I'm a winner. I already believe that I'm a winner, right? If we think about the three letters inside of believe, what are they? L-I-E, lie. If you tell yourself a lie enough, you'll start to believe that it's true. Same thing can go the other way. If you tell yourself that you're a winner enough, what will happen? You'll start to believe that it's true, but more importantly, you'll act as if it's true, right? If you want a million dollars, you start to act like you're already a million dollar person. You want to have a business, you start to already act like a business owner. You recruit people with the vision that you're already a business owner and you're already going to the mountaintop. They can even get with you or they can get left behind, right? So you have to believe and you have to act as if you are already there. Right? Your behavior every single day is going to be something that people are going to look at. Right, You have to think about this. And I know that it could be like, oh, this is common sense. But you see it. I'm sure you're seeing it on social media. People are going back and forth, putting their relationships out there, putting things that have happened you know, at their job out there, all these other things that don't need to be said. Right, there's, there's ways that you act upon things and not always do you need to act in a negative mannerism. Even if somebody has chose... Because what, what really matters is how you react to the situation, right? Everybody can take a situation, you know, and, and turn it into a positive. It's all about your mindset and how you focus on the outlook of it, right? Because people are going to do bad things to you no matter what. People are going to hate on you no matter what. But how you choose to respond will show if you're a champion or if you're just a bench warmer, right? If you're a leader or if you're just a follower, if you're great or if you're just average, so remember that. What's your behavior looking like on a day-to-day -day basis? And the last thing is the C, which your ABCs. The C is communication, right? A lot of the times it's not what we say, but it's how we say it. And I can, I can vouch for this because if you ask my wife, a lot of the times the things that I say is relevant, it's true, it makes sense. But if I don't say it in the right tone, I'm in trouble. Right? And so I focus on that. How am I going to say these things? Everybody hears things in a different way. Right? Just think about the, the, any sentence that you can think of. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Right? It's all about the way that you're seeing it. Especially when we're going through text messages. This is why phone calls are still so vital. This is why conference calls, anywhere where you can get face to face and you can have that verbal communication. Because you see the way that I'm communicating. You see the way that I'm expressing my mannerisms. That's a big, big deal. How you communicate. How you communicate in text, right, through your social media posts. The, the punctuation, the spelling. Nowadays, we have things out here like Grammarly. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. So I'm not saying you have to try to be perfect. But make sure that you're always cognizant of the ways that you're communicating to other people. Right? Make sure that you understand that people are always going to be out here watching you. People want to associate with your brand, but at the same time, they want to associate with upper echelon status. Upper level status. They want to go up, not down. So if you got a podcast and you're thinking about ways that you can get people on there, you got a YouTube show, or if you're trying to book a meeting or you're trying to book a promotion or whatever it is that your end desire is, you got to wonder, how am I communicating to these people, both online and offline? What am I saying that's resonating with them? And what am I saying that's not, that's giving them a side eye? You got to be aware. If you're not aware, your brand can fall quicker than it ever did grow. Let me say that again, right? Your brain can fall quicker than it ever did grow, right? Than it ever grew. Let's say it that way. You just got to be, it's just like credit, right? It's credit. I always tell people credit comes from the word credibility. How credible are you? How much authority do you have in whatever niche, whatever space that you're given, right? Whatever, whatever blue ocean, the new opportunity that you want to give someone, 
You got to think about that. Your credibility is everything. So if you say, hey, look, I'm looking to acquire some new customers. I'm looking to acquire some new clients. I'm looking to level up in life and get a better circle, right? Somebody that can help me level up. Those people are still going to look at you and they want to know what's your brand like? How credible are you? How do you communicate? What's your appearance look like? More importantly, what actions are you taking? What behavior are you showing? So that's my tip today. A lot of people want to know, how do you build a brand? Start with those ABCs of branding. I think that's so, so important. Be intentional about the relationships that you're building, right? And if, and if you see somebody out there that already is where you want to be, you're going to have to figure out a way to use these ABCs to communicate and connect with that person. Because the, song, the stronger and the faster you can build a relationship with that person, that's going to help you level up. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Well, it doesn't matter if somebody's above you or below you. Still, you want to build a relationship because you never know how much faster that can help you get to your desire, whether it's money, whether it's time, whether it's promotion, whether it's being a better father, a better mother, a, brother, a better brother. It doesn't matter. You have to focus on the relationships. And then once you focus on that, you'll find your purpose and you'll be living in a life of passion. Right. So that's my tip for you guys today. It's a little bit longer than normal, but I hope I truly, truly, sincerely hope that you take something or at least that you got a nugget out of this. Right. The ABCs of branding. I'm always so cognizant of my brand because I know that in one moment people are going to look to tear you down the moment you make a mistake. But how strong of a foundation do you have from all the positive things that you've already done that you can withstand that? Right. So my tip today, remember, in the dream we trust, but we must take action on those dreams because without it, it's merely a fantasy. It's Casanova. We'll talk soon. Be great.